Yo, what well, going on internet? Kyle Linux there. So check it out. Today we are looking at the screen recording device and software that I use for getting the footage that you guys typically see on the Kyle Linux Cast channel. So just to get things underway, the first thing we'll be looking at is the device that I've used for the majority of this channel's existence, which is the HD PVR Rocket. This little scrappy device here is amazing. I am a huge fan of the quality that this thing produces and the simplicity of it as well. I was struggling to find a Linux compatible recording device or screen recording device online because there are so many. I mean, the ones that do exist are relatively expensive and I'm not trying to pay an arm and a leg. And I wanted something really simple. I didn't have to take the PC apart and, you know, find a an empty PCI slot to put something in and go scour the web for drivers, etc. I just wanted something that would work. So a YouTuber, another Linux YouTuber by the name of EG, actually put out a video on how to get this particular device set up on your system. And it's really simple. USB cable, HDMI in and an HDMI out. You connect it to your monitor and to the graphics card attached to your desktop. And then you hit the big old red button on it to begin recording and it will continue recording until you fill up your flash drive which you attach to the front of the device. So I recommend getting anything above a 32 gigabyte size flash drive uh, for maximum storage. And each video will record up to about four gigs in size because the flash drive needs to be formatted to FAT32, I believe. Yeah, it needs to be formatted to FAT32 in order to even record footage. So once it hits the four gigabyte mark, it'll start recording another video on top of that. So you can do a long play session and you'll just end up with, you know, multiple files when you remove the flash drive and plug it into your computer. Uh, and I've gotten, I want to say straight up like a good two, maybe two and a half to three hours of footage on my 32 gigabyte flash drive with no problems. It's pretty cool. I think like each four gigabyte file is about 20 some odd minutes, maybe like 24 minutes or so. Um, but don't quote me on that. I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure that that's accurate. But yes, this device was great, served me well. The All the reviews prior to... Well, no, actually, every review except... Oh, yeah, prior to the short video I did on Momodora were all recorded with this device. I think Momodora and everything afterward had been recorded with OBS, which is the next little screen recording software we'll be getting into. I actually no longer use the HD PVR Rocket. It's been chilling in the box for a while now, just collecting dust. I'm actually looking to potentially sell it, uh, put it up on eBay or maybe Craigslist or something. And yeah, it's been actually, it's been useful. It's done its thing. And I'm pretty grateful that I've been able to use it uh, for what it's accomplished. Like Animagative Memories was one of the things that recorded with no problems, uh, Aragami, all of the reviews and you can check in the quality you get 1080p 30 frames per second it looks great the only drawback i think that exists is that you know you can't get your 60 frames per second obviously and then also recording audio seems to be an issue eg has a video where he's explaining how you can get desktop audio and then also microphone audio by using audacity and syncing it with the recording of your device uh, if you noticed in all my previous videos there was no desktop recording of the actual in-game software oh uh, excuse me of the in-game audio uh, and that's the reason for that is because i for whatever reason even when i tried his tutorial it didn't work for me <laughs> so i kind of gave up on that um so i would just record the audio afterward in audacity and then merge the two in Caden live so now i use obs exclusively um i configured it to my needs my standards and it works brilliantly uh, it's pretty simple it took a while to get configured or find the right settings for me but the settings that I currently have give me the exact same quality as the HD PVR rocket except I get 60 frames per second and it doesn't slow down any of the games I've played thus far though I haven't played any super graphics intensive games just yet with OBS but I'll give that a try I have Metro, Last Light, um, 
redo to actually check out so once i've given that a shot i'll let you guys know what that looks like so here are my obs settings pretty straightforward uh I don't know if you noticed, but in that layoff video that I recorded previously, it's River City Rents, and that is in the video footage. And the video footage is a bit blurry, and that is because of uh, the settings here in the output and in the video settings. Um, I didn't have it set to by cubic. I had it set to, I think, none, which is the fastest recording setting. But the issue there is that you won't get crystal quality. You're going to get a bit of blur. So that's something to keep in mind. I've since changed it and we're going to see a test run of what it looks like now. Also forgive the screen size that you're seeing of the desktop. I'm still trying to get OBS to output the scaled recording correctly at 1080p. It's like it, I think I changed something recently where it's still doing widescreen so you might be seeing letterbox. So you know my apologies if you hate letterbox. Yeah but this is air. Memories of old, uh, the game looks beautiful, and this is me recording the actions being performed in-game. And during the recording process, there was no slowdown, everything was still smooth, nice beautiful 60 frames per second, didn't have any slowdown. And then shortly afterward, uh, after a brief recording, I went to check the playback. So you'll be seeing the playback now, and it's obviously not going to be as great as seeing it live because you're seeing a rendering of a rendering, right? So it's still going to look like it's being rendered. <laughs> it's going to look, uh, you know, softer and all that. But you do see a little bit of degradation in the quality. You'll see like gradient. You'll see where the shades start to cut off into pixels as opposed to a smooth gradient in some areas. But outside of that, it the gameplay footage is smooth and the look and feel of everything looks exactly like the HD PVR rocket. So for me, it's kind of like, uh, do I hold on it to a hundred something dollar piece of hardware with a bunch of cables that will do the exact same thing as the simple software that I have will do, or do I get rid of it? And I'm opting to get rid of mine. Now, granted, you know, I think this also depends on your CPU specs. So if you have an older desktop, you might want to opt for a hardware solution. So the HD PPR rocket might be the better choice because of that. But if you have a pretty beefy PC, and I don't mean super beefy, just something, you know, that's relatively modern, then you should be able to just use OBS, get your recordings done and you'll be good. Especially if you have a dedicated GPU, that's pretty recent. You know, I want to say in the last like maybe four years, you should be fine. It should be a okay so yeah that's it so you know there you go you have two options there you can go with the hd pvr rocket or you can just go with obs again make sure your hardware can you know judge based on your hardware if you got older hardware get actual hardware to record footage if you have newer hardware use software to do it and you should be good to go all right well that's it fairly simple um i hope you guys check this out you can get the hd pvr rocket on amazon uh for they're not cheap man they're like 130 something bucks for what they do i guess they are cheap compared to other solutions but it's like 100 something bucks um another reason why i think obs is the better solution it's free you know just donate to the project you know just to support open source software or free and open source software but yeah, with all that being said, this has been Kai Linux, and remember, no matter what distro you use, out of many, one Linux. Give thanks. Peace.